Hey you guys, this is Nathan. Today we are gonna be editing some photos of my wife. She is doing some modeling for her mom's Etsy store and uh, they took a bunch of pictures of some of the new products that she has. She makes uh, hand-knitted uh, scarves. Her Etsy store is Alaska Knit Gifts. Uh, so I definitely would encourage you guys to do that. She makes just hundreds of these things. Um, and all handmade, all done by herself. Um, but yeah, it's a real neat process. So we're going to just look through a few of these images here. Um, they were taken. Um, I think we'll uh, just note that real quick. Uh, they were taken on a Samsung. I believe it was, it's a, what is it? Is it a S20 or let's see. Yeah, it's on a, just a Samsung phone. So uh, just a smartphone camera, nothing too crazy. Um, the aperture is 2.4, um, the shutter speed is one second on this photo in particular, but yeah, nothing super crazy, uh, just, you know, a simple photo. Let's look at some of these others, see if it's the same. Yeah, it's about the same as well, same camera, uh, but still, the thing is, if you get uh, halfway decent lighting and your subject is, you know, able to stand out from the background you can take some really awesome photos with just your phone and in this case these photos are really nice you know and if you zoom in you can see oh well you know maybe the details not exactly where it could be if you were going to say oh man I really wanted that super crisp unbelievable detail well the thing is sometimes you know, you have to remember, hey, this is most likely going to be seen on a phone as someone has like the Etsy app open. They are scrolling around. They're like, oh, that's really neat. Or maybe they are on their desktop and they're like, yeah, I want something like this. Oh, that looks so cool. The colors, all this stuff. They don't necessarily demand, oh, it has to be, I zoom in at 100% to be able to see, ooh, how does that look? You know, this different stuff, you know. Uh, but, you know, how could we edit these images to make them look, you know, really good? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these um, types. I think they're all pretty well organized. There's probably about four photos of each one. Uh, so we'll start uh, with this one. So we've got blue. So this one I would look at and say it looks like she's fairly centered in the image. Looks good. Um, this next one, she's a little bit off to the side. Uh, nothing terrible. You know, we could crop this one in. And then we have this one, which is about the same thing. You know, it depends on what kind of look you're going for. This one looks the most um, complete in my th view. Now, of course, you know, she has these, um, I don't know what they're called exactly, the arm warmers, hand warmers um, down here. Uh, but nonetheless, it looks really good because the subject is not making any, uh, is not like connecting with you at all in this image it's simply you're like whoa okay that's really neat it looks like a very stock image this one looks good this one her eyes are a little bit open you can kind of see her teeth in the smile you know maybe it's not ideal um, but you know it depends on what you're going for I'm just gonna note that if I had to pick a favorite I think this one's really good let's just hop in and edit it real quickly um, let's see this is taken at what what is this taking? I believe this is uh, just four by three or three by four. And no, not necessarily. Not three by five. It, oh, that's right. I should have thought of that. Four by six. Still not right. <laughs> oh boy. Um, well, with whatever ratio this is being taken at, eight by ten. Okay. At whatever ratio it's being taken at, um, what I'll do is I'll do like a. Uh, hmm. let's just do it based on the original crop she can crop it later if she wants to so we'll do it like this I'm looking at this and saying it looks really good I think maybe there's a little more on the top that is what's needed and actually if you look at the lines here this is something that I always do when I'm editing images like you look at these grid lines when we're cropping here you can see that oh there's more on our headspace that's on you know that right hand side there versus the other side where it's outside the grid line if I pull this in I can make it basically line up both exactly where it should be it means that it's going off of her head as the center of the image honestly I think it looks really good that way and we can just crop that in 
and he got that there. Now, as far as editing the image, as far as the colors, as far as all of that, you look at it and you say, well, it looks pretty good. You know, there's nothing super crazy. You know, if I go hit magic color, maybe I can get a sense of like, okay, there's going to be like vibrant, turn up the vibrance and all that stuff. You can go to like HDR, see what they would do there. Okay. Um, and it depends on, you know, what you're thinking. Do you want those warmer tones, things like that? I think that honestly, I like, um, let's see, maybe I can, uh, mess around with this stuff. I like the brightness stuff. I think that's fine. Darken. Okay. Deepen. Deepen. Okay. Vibrance. Let's turn that up of just a hair. Not too much. I don't want to change the background too much here. Cool. And then clarity. Okay. Yeah, clarity is something where if you did throw your clarity slider, you could definitely invoke much more. Um. You can make the fabric look much more distinct. It just depends on what you're going for at the end of the day. And that's why I encourage people to learn photo editing because uh, for someone, if they say, hey, this is my store, it's saying that, hey, maybe it's something where you like it a bit more soft of an image. Or do you actually want it to be that, you know, sharp, crunchy image as well? You know, which which do you prefer, you know? For me, I'm looking at I'm like, okay, um, I don't want it to, you know, be crushed because I can think of like what she does in her store a lot. You know, I turn some of this stuff down. Maybe I do bump the clarity just a hair. Get that. Okay, we're gonna go to more here. Contrast, I think, is probably fine. Temperature is probably fine. Exposure, do 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 do. Uh, yeah. No, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I think. What I'm looking at here is that I like the edits and how it's ha changing the uh, subject and not necessarily the background. So what I can do is I can go to mask and I can just mask these edits to only take effect on the model. Um, let's see. Very nice. Okay, and you know, you can uh, take your time and get to do more or less or things like that. But this gives it to where I think that it brings some more color and more distinction to it. I think the background's just fine the way it is. Um, yeah, if I would invert that, the invert actually does look pretty cool though. I don't know, it just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, <laughs> I love it just because it's tough. Honestly, this is actually almost better. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, yeah, uh, but nonetheless, you guys, I really like how this image works. I think just a simple crop down. And I don't think there's anything super crazy in the edit that would need to be changed. Um, but yeah, no, I really like it. So uh, that looks really solid. I'm going to hit save as project. Uh, that's how I'm going to save uh, all of these out. Go in here, select edit, hop in. I'm just going to save these out as projects so I can jump back to them. You know, maybe I save them out as JPEGs too. Uh, okay. Going back to viewer here, so we got that photo. This photo's fine, this photo's fine. I think this photo's probably the better one here. This is one where I'm gonna wanna straighten it. Hop over here to straighten. What line am I looking for? Um, basically, I'm looking at like her shoulders to try to straighten it out. Also maybe like with her nose that's up and down. I think that straightens it out a lot more. Uh, going back to the original crop, going here and, whoopsie, yeah, going in here and centering it. So just like I said before, you know, basically I'm looking at these uh, two side lines here and saying, okay, I want the same amount of the uh, same amount to be on one side as the other side. Kind of line that up the best you can, get to where it needs to be. Cool. 
um, and you know it depends on how cropped in you want it to be so this one will definitely be more cropped in than the other so um, it kind of just depends on what you want also you say oh wait no there's more in this corner here to make it not look as noticeable what I can do is I can say okay we're not gonna crop it as much not as much there okay I think that looks fine um what would like HDR look like there? Mm, it's, it's fine it just depends also on what you're looking for this is definitely giving more of like a lighter uh, a lighter tone not as much of a warmth tone or you could have it where it adds that warmth into the image it depends on what you're going for so that's the tough thing how am I gonna edit these this is why sometimes batch editing could be helpful um, but like if we were to look back at my previous image that I just edited now okay, this is gonna open it up in another one I kept it pretty neutral I didn't go and make it like super uh, super crazy or anything let's uh, see what I can do here darken deepen vibrance 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 clarity nah honestly it looks good to 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 go off of I think we're basically fine with where this could be I think it might be something where the clarity might be Um, yeah, I think the clar clarity might be something nice to bump just the hat and the scarf. Hmm. It depends on if you like that crunch look or not. And that's the problem, you know, it's a very subjective thing. Personally, I think the crutch brings out more sharpness, so that's what I would stick with. So I really like how that one looks cool. All right, so you got that one, nice. Okay, but yeah, just a straight in, all that. This one here. I want to kind of more or less just skip it, but let's say if you really liked it, it's a question on what would you actually do with it. Um, yeah, basically it would just be like a crop like this, you know. Um, and actually, I would crop it even a bit more. Uh, just to be plainly honest, I would just crop it a bit more. Um, the top from the scarf down to the edge of the frame from the top of the hat. To the very top mm, yeah that's basically what I would do I don't think there's much else that I would do it all looks pretty similar oh actually if I brought this over I could probably get this actually very similar as well we'll bring this up a bit up a bit up a bit yeah that that makes me happy that's a that's what I enjoy doing. Uh, bumping that clarity a bit. Yeah, I think overall it looks good. One thing that I really like is that cameras do such a good job at normally capturing, you know, a good quality image. So I think that that's a real bonus at times. All right, cool. So that's good. Um, okay, moving on to the next one this one so we have a series of a few images we have one two three uh, this one here looks fine let's see it's just tough because it crushes the the photo a little bit so we'll go to this first one um, this one she has a good smile um, the crop and I'll of course need to happen and we'll uh, crop this down to kind of where we were at before hmm. 
yeah, the image is going to end up getting a little bit small. Still looks fairly nice, but uh, yeah, the image is going to end up being pretty small after the crop. Yeah, the problem is it's just such a small image after the crop. What I would do is, uh, so like, if it's like that, you really can't crop it in that much. To salvage it, what you'd have to do is you'd have to make it a bit larger. But yeah, you just can't, when the resolution just gets so small, it's tough. Personally, that's like the best you could do. Like you can do like some different stuff to maybe bring it out a bit more but the thing is the colors are just so crushed the contrast is so high like you could do that and then you could like try to like bring up the vibrance or something i don't know it's just a tough image it's a tough image one thing i'd also do is i would whiten uh the teeth i know that my wife just actually went to the <laughs> the dentist the other day um but like you could make that little edit there as well um, so I think this image, this one's probably much better. This one is fine as well. You know, color is such an important thing in these types of images, uh, to know what color certain things are. This one's a much better, this one's one that I can actually, you know, edit and use. We'll go in with something like that. Looks good. Over to color. Maybe we'll brighten that up. Darker tone. Deepen that. Just a hair. Vibrance. Eh. And a clarity. Don't want to bump it too high. The temperature I think is fine. It's just tough because it's like, what is the color? What color is it? Um. Yeah, I think that was fine. Okay, so we got that. Then we'll go over to project, and we'll save that as the project as well. Okay, cool. So we're uh, we're kind of just moving on along here. This image here is going to be a very similar one as well. What I would do here to to start, yeah, we're going to go back to crop. Got the original. Crop it down. Depends on how much you want it cropped. Yeah. Color. A little brightness, a little darken, yeah. deepen, yeah. vibrance, vibrance. Yeah, there you go. Start to get that color in there. It just depends on where you want that color to be. Yeah, you definitely bring back some of that color in there. I like that. Cool. And if you guys are like, man, this is such a long video, yeah, you know, it's just a, uh, oopsie, it's just uh, trying to showcase the editing process. Okay, we've got, oh, these are going to be fun. This one's going to be neat. These are really fun colors, I would say. You got two images here. This one's good. The brightness and then the darkness, <laughs> I don't know, probably the sun came out behind the clouds. That's probably what happened. Um, so uh, you've got that. This is the one where you want it to be fairly large. Eh, a little bit more. Okay. Eh, I think we're good there. Yeah, it's just tough because the it's harsh on this side and then it's not very dark on this side what i would do here is i would go into tools well be more like a just masking stuff basically here's what i would do I'm going to mask we're going to darken we're going to darken this side of the image see if we can darken it Yeah, it's going to get interesting. It's going to get interesting how this all is going to play out. Uh, show me the mask real quick. 
All right, we're going to subtract some of this stuff here. We're going to subtract in here. Um, okay. We can't have it be too hard, but like right now it's just super overexposed on that side and that stuff. Also, one thing you can do, let's just apply that and say we like how it looks. Let's hop back, do the exact same thing. Bump the darkness, bring it in. Get her Alaska tag in here and just really punch. Punch that, make that look. Uh, make that stand out a bit more uh, because we're not changing the look of the hat we're changing the lighting that was on it whoopsie hold on let me go to mask Nice. That brings it out so much better. Like, look at the comparison to that. Yeah, so much better. Um, it's just that the 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 shadow was just so harsh, and I'm gonna have to most likely do her face as well because it's going to showcase as well. So nice, so nice. This is another really fun part of editing photos, being able to bring out, bring back that side. That's really good. Hit apply on that. All right, then we're gonna just go back to. Let's see what we could do. Saturation. Bring back some of that color in there. You know, and the saturation slider is something that the end user really should have because it's something where the color is just there. I like that. It's really. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's like, I like that. Oh, but then I kind of just removed it. Uh, silly me. I really like how that ends up. Yep. That's that that's a winner right there. That one I like. Um, it's just nice because there's such a it's such a colorful um, design. <clears throat> All right, so you got that. That's really nice. Next we've got this one here. Oh, whoops! Hold on. Do we skip? Oh, we had that one off to the side. That is similar. This is where a batch process might be helpful, but you're gonna have to select each part. You know, different things. She has a turn. Let's line her back. Maybe her eye. You catch it off the eye. No. Hmm. Nah. Nah, you'd want to leave it because it's her eye direction and stuff. She's leaning. She is leaning there. Could you straighten it? Would straightening it work better? Potentially. Yeah. I think straightening it actually helps the image. Sweet. I think that made it look a bit better. I want to get out the highest resolution at this crop. Um, but what we can do is we can go back masking that corner that side and saying okay that's a bit too bright there this is a bit too bright there you know but it you know it's all a subjective uh, process so we'll go to darken get that in there nice um I may just overall the image you know maybe we brighten up the overall image a bit uh, let's brighten up the saturation Oh, unless you didn't want her face to get saturated. Hmm. 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 We're going to fill the entire thing. Then we're going to subtract her face on here. I don't know. I don't know. People could get really <laughs> offended by you. You change that, but not that, and you know different things. It's like, eh. It's called a creative art form. Okay. So you have that. That's cool. That's a good edit there. Saving it as a project. Nice. I think that's all good there. Okay, back to edit. All right. 
we've got those two done. We have this one, and then we have this one. Which one is better? Well, this one showcases the entire product. This one has a smile, but things, it's a little bit too cropped in. Do we have another one? We have that one. Oh, that one looks actually really cute. That one looks really cute. No, that, one of those times where you're like, that's my wife right there. Man, that's, that's pretty cute right there. All right. Um, let's edit this one. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> so, you're cropping this one in. Good, good, good. She has her head tilted. It always confuses me. When, she, when the head's tilted, you get a little bit. This, yeah, your centering ends up being a little interesting, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, brightening the image up. Okay, that's all fine. Darkening the image, not really. Deepening, sure. Vibrance, maybe. Clarity. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. Saturation. Mask, fill, subtract, face. Yeah, it just depends. Depends on what you're going for. But yeah, definitely brightened up the hat. <clears throat> Hit apply there. Go back to color. Going to do a bit of a brighten. <clears throat> but just on the hat up top there. And in here. Brighten that up. Not, not great. I hit the, I clicked the reset button, and I was like, wait, why did I do that? So let me. Okay, yeah, brightens it up. I think that's good. Uh, comparing to the original, to this one. Pretty nice. I want to brighten up the face just a hair on the on the side. Just me. No, just a random thing for me. Yeah, I like that better. Cool. All right, so that's good. Nice. Uh, we can save the project as well. Cool. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, this one here and then this one here. This one looks really good. This one will be one that I can probably work with this one a good amount. Hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you guys a trick. I don't show these people. I'll show everyone these tricks sometimes, but basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to Brie. I'm going to find this image. Which image is this? This is uh, Ensign 653. Ensign 653, go over here to here. Go down to 653. Um, uh, 653. Where in the world did it go? All right, Nathan, there's not that many. Five, three, okay, here you go. We, uh, basically, we copy and pasted this in. So there's two of them. You could use a combined tool as well. Basically, I'm putting this in on the side. And the reason why is because I think this is going to work. Go to Layers, hit Merge, Merge, and include the outside. And then you've combined your image. Okay, next, you go over here to Spot Heal. And what you're going to do, or in this case, what I would recommend doing would be just dragging up the line. I'm hoping it comes out as a nice blur between the two. If not, we'll just blur the image. Okay, it worked out okay. Then we'll just go and blur the image. Down the line, down the line, boom. Uh, so we blur the image, and it'll be fine. Uh, basically, this extends out the side of the image. Now I can go back and crop it and have enough space. Um, I don't think I've ever taught anything like that before. I don't know if I've done that before. I've done that using the combine tool before. But basically, this allows me to crop it right in the center to keep everything still in and crop that. But all this is fake. That corner is fake. The image actually did not go out that far before. Go back to spot heal. 
go in, crop it, do it again, and it should remove everything pretty much perfectly. And there you have it, you guys. It's uh, been extended. Let me see if there's a crop, if I like it exactly there. Mm -hmm. I actually do. I like it there. That's fine. Uh, cool. Next, uh, what I want to do is... Uh, there's the whole softened skin, there's the bokeh, there's the different stuff. Let's go to, let's go to a, it's not color fill, is it? No, actually I'm going to use it based on color because you want to have a lot of control when you do this. Basically, for her teeth, um, like the day after this photo shoot, she got, she went to the dentist. Like, it's unfortunate, it's unfortunate. Uh, but it's not a big issue. Basically, I can go and select her teeth in here. Cool. And can I zoom in even more? Nice. That's good. That's good. All right, so we got that all in there. And we can subtract on this edge because I kind of got a little off track a little bit. Then what I can do is I can say, am I brightening these? Is that all that I'm doing? Am I changing the color temperature on these? And then maybe the brightness, because I can then take out some of that, the colors there, and you can change it to whatever you want. So you can give her, you know, perfectly white teeth, or you can, you know, keep it a little bit more normal, a little bit more simple. Um, I don't think tint would actually help you, but all would be helpful in here. Oh, here you go. You would increase the whites, potentially. Uh, whites in there. No, the darks. No, you want to keep those basically right where you're at. Gamma exposure correction. Oh no, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Uh, you could take out certain colors. Vivid. No. Definitely not dodge. Definitely not blur. Light and shadow. Dark and highlights. Dark and highlights. Eh, I don't know. But nonetheless, look at the comparison. Compare between that and this. Night and day difference. Night and day difference. And it's because you, instead of, um, because you aren't really like changing a color, you're more of just bringing out the whites in it. I would encourage the color tab, not like a color fill or anything like that, because you don't need overlays. You want to change the actual colors. So um, there you have that. Looks really nice in my opinion. Um, I think the image looks really good. So <laughs> there you go, guys. There's a nice little uh, tip in there of how to change up teeth. Um, oh, whoops. Did I, uh, did I save this out already? I don't know. Maybe I did. This is in the, oh, this is in the edit tab. Okay. <laughs> Cause I had to insert. Yeah. That would have messed it up. Cool. So we got that done. Nice. Um, Perfect. Okay, so that's cool. Um, number the next one. I've got to get a move on. I got work coming up in a few hours. Ugh. Okay, but yeah, back to uh, back to the process here. So we did this one. We did these. We did that one. This one I think is zoomed in almost too much. It doesn't ha showcase all the different products. I'm gonna skip this one. Also because I feel like this one did so good, I don't think it was necessary. Um, uh, to do that, we did this one as well, so we're all good there. This one, okay, so we've got the little foo foo, or what do you call it? I don't know. Ooh, it depends on what she wants. Okay, this must be like a new thing that she's doing because she took a, maybe an extra photo or so of this one. This one photo looks fine. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it just because I think that it's probably not the main best photo on here. We can zoom in. We probably want to keep the foo foo like pretty good there. That looks good. I don't see anything where you're like, man, we really have to, you know, change it. Um, one thing is, hold on, is that on my screen or what is that? There is a part of the foo foo that has this little like random thing there. That would actually be a downer uh, to have leave in the image. Let me go to spot heal and we'll just remove that away. All right, that fixes it. Foo foos are, you know, probably a little tough. What would you call it? A pom pom? No, it's probably not the right term either. Um, yeah. Well, 
no problem there. Didn't do much with that edit, but you know, that's what we ended up doing. So let me go to the one that I think is that one looks really good. It then takes away a little bit from there. It's more of a photo where you're like the model definitely is like stealing the show. Like, you know, for modeling for products and stuff, it's like it doesn't necessarily matter how good the person is. You know, it's the product. And, you know, I'm sure that's a debatable point. Um, but, yeah, no, I think this one's fine. Uh, I think that. I chew. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the cough button at the moment. Mm. Cool. Yeah, no, but that's uh, that's totally fine. I think that's fine. Uh, nothing super crazy going on there. Go over here, projects. We're gonna save that. Okay, cool. So we did those mostly because we're trying to get to the best image, which I think is this one. Off to the side. I, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't like it as much as I thought I did. Well, nonetheless, I think it's uh, I think it's still a good image. Uh, to have on the side there. Cause like you're not always gonna have the direct. Look there. Okay. Good. What I'm spending the time looking at is this bottom corner, at the bottom of the image, spacing out this and this proportionally. Um, I I really like that. Uh, that's cool. Uh, the image. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You know, it's tough because. Um, and let me just explain something as far as for smartphones, as far as smartphones go, is that oftentimes when you have these real in-between things, like up here where you have these individual hairs and lines and stuff, it's tough for a smartphone uh, many times to distinguish, do I count that as a hair, do I not, what color am I going to use for that pixel? I think it has issues with it where like a solid DSLR, something really high quality would be so much better at getting that quality dialed in and getting that detail. Um, nonetheless, it still looks really nice. I think it looks really good. I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes smartphones can struggle with those uh, at those moments. All right, so we got that one done. Nice. This one, this one's kind of an interesting image. It looks off. Not that, you know, oh, it's a terrible image or anything. I think that the shoulders and everything, it's a weird perspective shift. I don't think she's her shoulders are straight in line with the camera behind you. Um, well, that's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, I think it's a perspective shift thing, and I'm going to go and do a perspective shift. Um, I just think it's off just a hair perspective. All right, so we're going to change that perspective uh, this way. Not too much. It would need to be a little bit more, though. Mm, I'm hoping that doesn't mess it up. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up. Cool. No, that's fine. I think that's fine. It's not, you know, perfectly straight in line, but it's okay. One thing that I'd also like to note, if there's anything that seems off or weird, just edit it out. Go to spot heal, edit out what's weird. What I think is weird here is just this. This is the tag lines where the tags are being sewed in. It doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. But that's the little bit of the OCD in me saying, wait a minute, that's not perfect. You know, and all that. Yeah, no, we can't do a blur. We'd have to do this, and it's going to be tough to make it look actually good. Going to have to decrease the size pretty good here. Slide that in. Good. Slide that over. Good. Eh. 
eh. I don't know. Maybe I can't make that edit look good uh, as far as to take those out. That's tough. It might be a clone stamp thing that I can do because then it's pasting from a different portion of the image. Yes, that in this case, that's where a clone stamp has to have because there's so much weird detail and crossing and stuff. It just messes up the the software. Yeah, that looks so much better. Nice. Uh, I really like it. I think it looks good. Whoa. Did the color like shift or something? I don't know. Weird. I don't know. It looks fine though. But the hat does look a little bit on the darker side. It looks like the lighting just isn't on it super amazingly. Erg. These are the moments where I'm like, no, I have to get it correct. Okay, so basically it's this side of the hat that just is a bit too dark. Is a bit too dark here. The lighting is just a little too harsh. Some people like it. Some people like it. I don't, you know. Um, yes, we're going to re-save that. Uh, save over. Going to hit save there. Cool. All right, so we got that one done. Next. Oh, whoops. Okay. We have this one. Ooh, I like the dark. The dark's really cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are great. Those are great photos. Okay, so like this one, super good. Really clear. Um, I like it a lot. Depends on the crop and what she's doing. I'm just going to say, uh, this is still cropping the original size. How is it cropping the original size if it's, is this a square image to begin with? I guess this is a square image to begin with. No, it's not. It's just barely not a square image. I don't know. The I've just been doing original just because I can. You know, technically, should I just have left them all the same just because it's possible that she has to do it on a certain crop and something and I'd mess it all up? Yeah, that's why you save the project file so you can go back and change it. I'm just trying to give her something cool. All right, the dark gets really, like, super dark. And that's the other question is, is it blown out? Is it blown out on those sides? Yeah, it might be blown out. Yeah, there you go. There's your, your levels there. I like the original. I think that it needs to be brightened up just a hair, which is good. Then I need to go back to color. I want to go to mask, and I want to brighten up this darker side. Let's see if I can brighten that up just a hair. Bring it back just a little bit. Maybe bring back some clarity. Maybe that'll bring back a little. Nah, it doesn't look like it. There you go. It brought back some. It brought back some, and I actually really like how it brought back a little there. That's good. I like that. Cool. All right, that's sweet. I think that one turned out really good. We can go and hit save as there. Go back here. What do we got left? We probably don't have too many left. This one's so good. This one's so good. Um... I like it. The smile is just too good. I could just imagine the joke my mother-in-law must have said to, to get her to laugh like that. Uh, oh boy, she's a riot. She's hilarious. Um, okay, so we got that color. I think what we're just doing here is just get the mask on the side here and bring some of that color back or bring back some of that vibrance back into the image. Cool. I like that. And then we're going to go and fix her teeth one more time. This is, I think, a really cool thing to do. You get this in here. You're like, okay, okay, you got that. How do we fix it? Go over here to mask. Zooming in. Up and around, up and around. I should be a dentist. That would be kind of fun. 
then I could like emotionally connect to like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That'd be a great movie. No. Um, let's be introverts together. That's basically how I proposed to my wife. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, all right. So you have this here. You got it selected. Looks good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the brightness on here. Turn up the brightness. Um, maybe the temperature of the color. Don't want to brighten it up too much. I thought vibrance would be is not clarity either. What was the uh, there was one other oh whites there you go. Look at that! Look at that! From there to there, oh, just look at that. That's how it is. That's how editing is supposed to look. You have that to there. Uh, there you go. Um, there is this one part that's actually not natural. In here, can we subtract this? Maybe there's a section right in there that's not. No, can I undo that? Can I add that back in? I'm sorry. That, that actually, I think, is. Okay, cool. Well, nonetheless, definitely improves the image. Makes it just look so much better. Original there. Original there. Nice. I like that. Cool. All right, so you got that there. Going to go back to save project. Save that. Nice. Okay, we're basically at the end, I think. Maybe. This one, what she's doing with her lip here, I don't, I don't think it's as good. I don't think it's as good there. Yeah, I don't, I think this image is your golden image. I don't think this one is. Uh, then you only get stuck with one image possibility choice there, right? No, we had two. We had this one. Yeah, yeah, we had this one. We have this one. If you don't like those two, sure, there's that one. I'm not going to take the time to edit that one. Um. That's just me. All right, and then this is the first image. I don't think we did anything with this image. Um, this image is just so far away that it's not worth it. Um, I could show you guys how to remove every th thing that's wrong in the image, like the hole in the wall and the little snow salt bag. I could I could fix that stuff for you if you want to see that. Uh, but basically, the problem is your crop is going to end up cropping you so far down. Because, like, let's say I still kept it. Does the original, do you have to reselect the original every single time? Oh no, what? You have to reselect the original every single time. That's terrible. I apologize. My edits are now going to you know, be so much uh, less impressive. That's. I'm sorry about that, guys. Maybe I'll send them all to her un uncropped. But now you can do this. The image isn't super crazy just yet. My question is, yeah, no, that's fine. And then we'll just go to spot heal. We'll spot heal away that bottom section. Nice. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's good. Um, and you're done. Cool. You know, you could you know make another edit or something, but I think that works out just fine. Sweet. I do like the crops. The crops are fine. Um, it just depends on if she needs them uncropped. Um, but at the same time, cropping them, I think, really does help to benefit the image at, in some places. I don't think I cropped them so extremely. Like, we can go to the viewer now, and we can go to my edits. These are my edits. You know, we've got, and can we go full screen on this stuff? All right, so we've got this one. Nice. Um, not, not bad at all, not bad at all. We have this one here. Very cool. There's actually that kind of spot on the side. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, and whoops, did I have two in here? Looks like I have two in here. Can I, uh, I must have, I must have, oh, maybe these two. Oh, maybe she zoomed in on that one. That's hilarious that it's the exact, are you sure? Okay, no, I think I just did it twice. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Some of these, oh, some of these are the project files. Ugh, boring. Okay, let me let me show you guys something real quick. All right, in the editor over here, we're going to just the photos. We don't want to see the project files. It'll make it so much easier when we actually look through all this stuff. Okay, we have this one here. Cool. Then we have this one. Nice. Really like the blue. I still have the project files in here. Why do I still have the project files? Like sort. 
sort the image oh these are photos <laughs> sorry guys uh we'll do just the project files there you go these will be high quality for sure okay so we have this one <clears throat> nice okay looks good this one there i like the i like the position of the camera because she goes a bit higher and it really does showcase um the products more this one is more like uh just straight on this one is a bit higher i like that a whole lot more do more of that that's really good this one very nice this one very nice you can see the color uh difference there i must have chose to leave like a color change in her face there uh, i could go back and edit that uh out just because you want it to be pretty uh pretty much the same throughout all your photos nonetheless uh, i can change that one back this one's just tough because it just got, it was cropped so heavily um this one also these two are tough because the images just didn't come out as clean as some of the others. So you might want to retake those. Um, this one, I think that one looks really nice. I could have brightened up the side of her face more there. Uh, nonetheless, looks good. Looks good. This one looks nice. That one looks really cute. I just want to say. Okay. Uh, then you have this one here. Nice. This one, it's just really really bright on the side of her face there we might have to go back and re-edit edit that one a bit that one looks really good the that one in the back looks nice i'm glad that we brightened up the hat there this one looks cool um i like that we got to darken up the sides that one the smile is just so good there i like that um this one looks just fine and then we're back to the beginning all right you guys so yes that is my editing process of editing a few uh product photos um you know, in this case, it's um, modeling to an extent as well because it's not just a static product. Um, uh, but nonetheless, you guys, hope this video was helpful for you guys. And definitely check out uh, my mother-in-law's uh, Etsy store if you wanted to see more of her images that she has on there. And maybe to pick up some of these products. Uh, but the link's down below for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.